everyone, it's Diabetic Danica, and today I'm going to be talking about something kind of gross. I'm just going to say it right here, right now. I'm talking about periods. And before you say, Danica, it's not gross, it's beautiful, and it celebrates womanhood and blah, 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 blah. That's great for you to think, but I'm allowed to think it's gross too. And you're probably thinking, oh, Danica, society has taught you your whole life that it's gross, and now you think it's gross. Isn't that sad? Um, no, actually, my mom all growing up would always say like, oh, it's not gross, it's natural, it's just a natural part of your body. She didn't call it beautiful, but she did just say it was natural, it's not gross, don't worry about it, blah de blah de blah And so, even with all those positive messages coming into my brain, I still to this day find it disgusting. I think most people, when they think about body fluids in general, consider that kind of yucky. I still think it's gross, you may not, and that's totally fine. But, I still believe that it's a totally normal part of a woman's life, and so obviously if you're a diabetic woman, you're gonna have both at the same time, and so I thought I would talk about it today. And this video is actually suggested to me by Alexander Liu, so thank you for the suggestion. So, when it's that time of the month for me, um, there's just one main thing that changes with my diabetes management, and that would be... I just need a heck of a lot more insulin. I just run higher. My blood sugars run higher. I think it's just all the hormones fluctuating in my body and I mean I'm in pain for the first day or so so that can spike your blood sugar and so just overall I need more insulin. So I honestly kind of treat it like a sick day. Like I increase my basal dose. Usually for me it's 30% which is kind of a lot more. So I'll have 30% more basal. If I remember, I also adjust my boluses to be 30% more. So I take whatever amount I was gonna bolus and then I multiply it by 1.3 to get 130% of that dose. And so that way I get the normal dose plus 30% more. Um, but that's just my number. So you kind of just have to feel it out. Like I often would start at like 10% more and then if it's not working and I'm still running high, I'll do 20%, 30%. Etc. until I'm in range. Because you're already feeling so gross and you're hurting and you don't feel good and it's just like a high blood sugar on top of that is no bueno. And that's really all I do extra for diabetes. I just, you know, stay on top of my blood sugars, check often as always, and um, raise insulin doses as needed. I usually only need those higher doses around the first one to three days. Um, like I said, I just kind of keep an eye on it. So a temporary basal on my pump only lasts a certain amount of hours. So sometimes I'll let it run out and then I'll realize, oh, I'm still running high. I need to set another one or it might just run out and then my blood sugars are just fine. And I'm like, okay, the high blood sugar period of my period is over. <laughs> so it's not always the whole like seven days or five days. It's sometimes just the first couple, you know, when the pain is worse and everything like that. So if you're on shots, so I'm on an insulin pump, so if you're on insulin shots, I'm honestly not sure. I, A, either wasn't on my period when I was on shots because I was not old enough, or B, I just don't remember because I wasn't taking care of my diabetes, my parents were, at least I wasn't fully. So I don't remember if we like raised our long-acting dose of Lantus or Levamir, depending on what you use. I don't know, so if you're on insulin shots and during your time of the month your blood sugar runs a little bit higher, what do you do? Do you raise your long acting or you just kind of ride it out? I'm not sure. I've only ever really remembered using the pump in terms of that, so let me know. And if you're a guy watching this video, wow, you made it to the end of a period video. Great job. <laughs> um, not sure why, but you do you. Maybe to just understand all the girls out there. And honestly, we have a disadvantage because that's gotta affect our A1C. Like every single month we have a period. So for an A1C, that's three periods. And so that could be potentially a lot of high blood sugars. So if you have a guy friend with a lower A1C, just be like, yo, it's not fair. I go high a little bit once a month. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I think that guys should have been the ones to get periods. Because if you think about it, in terms of making huge generalizations here, who would think it's the most cool? Most guys, I would say, would be like, yeah, I'm bleeding for seven days, yes, I'm so hardcore, can you believe that? Like, look at the toilet right now, it's crazy, it's like a war zone, oh my god, yes! And again, not all guys, but I feel like more guys might think it's hardcore than girls, but that's just me, I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you do to care for your diabetes when you're on your period in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video if you really did like it by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks, guys. Bye. 
Amber sat on my lap the entire video. Isn't that sweet? I love her. Also, I just thought of something else. On your period, you might be eating more snacky foods, chocolate and such. Um, so maybe you have to give more insulin and really stay on top of your carb counts um, to not go high as well because you're probably maybe snacking. Good girl. She just jumped up here. Good girl. Except I'm done now, so I'm going to get up. Look at the toilet right now. It's crazy. It's like a mass massacre. What am I saying?